my lovelies welcome back to my channel i am so excited today because you know christmas just gone it was amazing and the new year is upon us listen 2018 is the year to shine glow up hashtag glow up if you don't know about it check it out because 2018 is going to be awesome and today i'm going to share with you some new year's resolutions but with a twist not just your usual oh i'm going to go to the gym or i'm going to get a new job and then you kind of halfway through like three months into the year you kind of don't even follow through with like the basic stuff these tips that i'm going to give you are going to actually be a bit more all-rounded and more about self-improvement and reaching your goals because i'm telling you like 2018 is going to be the best year hands down it's going to be great for you for me for us all so listen up because i've got some really cool tips from my favorite actress taraji p henson i am absolutely in love with her story of how she you know just had a degree she went to um los angeles i believe it is with her son um and she made it she made it as an actress and she was 26 and she's far as i'm here now and she is the shit have you watched Empire. Have you seen Cookie Like? Like every girl, every lady with a little bit of attitude, a little bit of spark, there's a bit of cookie in them. Mm -hmm. I would know. Yes. But before we go there, I want to thank all the new subbies. We're almost at 100 subscribers and I'm really excited. It's a small number in a YouTube world, but for me, that is a big deal. First subscriber I'd like to give a shout out to is Nunu Nuhi Dayat. Didn't know if I got it right, but thanks for joining and I'd love to hear from you. The next one is Jason Smith. Thank you Jason for joining the family of my lovelies. Um, hope to hear from you soon. Trinisha Farrell, York, Mali, Kimberly, guys, thank you so much. It's been awesome having you with us. Do send us a comment. I really want to hear what you guys think and what you think we should do next, yeah? So let's get straight into the video. The first rule or the first tip, whatever you want to call it, tip, rule, resolution, it's all up to you. They're all generally the same thing. They're all made to improve us and that would be you got to learn to take some risks. You know, we get really comfortable in our jobs, in our homes. You know, we kind of forget that, you know, when you get comfortable, you get stagnant, you don't push, you know, that comfort of a nice, good seat, and you just can't get out. You don't want to get up and, you know, take a risk, take a chance, go somewhere, meet someone. You know, anything that brings fear, it's like, obviously, if you're going to rob a bank, that's going to bring some fear, but I mean, like, you want to do something, but you get that little voice in the back of your head. Oh no, I shouldn't really do this. Because if I do this, this will happen, and that'll happen, and that'll happen, and blah, 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 and you spill on, and you never do it because you're afraid. Come on, guys. Let's take some rest for 2018 and make some shit happen. The second rule tip resolution is go for it. You know, I was just saying we get kind of like caught up in our heads. What are we going to do? We shouldn't do it. We should do this. Come on, guys. Like, let go kind of like you know uh what's her name oh that's that frozen movie there we go what's her name i'll probably answer it right here oh let it go you gotta let it go you just gotta go for it you just gotta shake off that fear take that risk go for it do it because what's the what's gonna happen if you don't you never know, you know, we get stuck. We don't know if we do this, what's going to happen. Well, how is it going to benefit us? How, how is it going to be good for us to just stay where we are when we can just go for it, try it? What's the worst going to happen? You can fail. But you know what? you got to always get back up. The, 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 third, the third tip for success, that's harder than it seems to see. The third tip. The third tip for success is overcoming your ego sometimes you gotta just you know like suck it up you know you don't want to do something in particular because like oh, it's gonna make me look so ratchet or it's gonna you know it's nothing bad like 
prostitution or like anything like that. I mean like simple things that are ego or pride. You know it's Barbadians if you don't know. They have a lot of pride but you gotta let down that pride, let go of that ego just a little bit because at the end of the road there is a goal straight ahead. Focus on that goal and you know the ego thing will kind of fade as sudden as yeah I'm gonna go this route because I know in the end or I'm gonna you know, shut my mouth something I have trouble with but I'm learning calm take a step back relax because guess what bigger things are coming ego you step aside move no okay rule for success is ignore your fears again okay listen these, these, these are these are so intertwined like taking a risk, going for it, letting your ego take a back seat, you know, ignoring your fears, overcoming your fears. These, okay, these all, these are all, I'm sorry, if I'm looking now, it's because I have them on my phone. So ignore your fears. It's hard. I'm telling you, I am telling you from experience, it's hard to ignore your fears. It's hard to get up from that comfy couch. It's hard to just say I'm gonna do it Nike just do it you know it's but it all goes back to what do you have to hold on to besides saying I didn't try how does how does that help you how does you not going for it how does you not let your fear get the best of you how does you um, taking a leap how does that hurt you it makes you you can only learn you know you can only learn from making mistakes babies fall down people have um, businesses they crash they start again you know you you can only go forward when you move when you allow yourself to not be afraid to live that's the biggest thing don't be afraid to live we have been given the opportunity to wake up every day and breathe life and enjoy the sun, the rain, the snow, wherever you are. Take that one step forward because you will never regret it. You will learn from it some way, somehow. Bad is good. You need the bad for the good. You wouldn't know what you what's good for you if you didn't experience the bad. So say no to the fear. My new quote for 2018, fear is a liar. Cause you know what? Liars are no good. Liars are always trying to comfort you and push things aside and make it all sugar coated. And no man, go for it. Go for it. The fifth tip is focus on your passion. Focus on your passion. Like live it, breathe it, eat it, sleep it, talk it. You know, you wanna be, uh, for example, you know, like, what's his name? That sprinter guy is from Trinidad. That guy, um, it's not Flash. It's not Thor. It's not Obadelli, it's Barbados. What's his name? Oh my gosh, you're driving me crazy. Bolt. You saying bolt. So guys, you know you saying bolt. He will tell you. He focused day and night. Live, sleep, eat, shit, that shit. You got to push. You have to be so determined. I once heard a quote or a saying that passion isn't enough. You have to be obsessed with your goals obsessed with whatever it is you want to accomplish in life whether it's a car whether it's a home whether it's a relationship whether it's a, a new change of job like breathe it think it like inhale it think it speak it to life speak all things good speak all things of that be positive that's my own personal tip positivity speaking it to life no other way i'm telling you the last half of 2017 for me has been all about what i speak what i think and being positive regardless and when those bad things happen don't be like oh my gosh why is this happening to me why me listen 
focus because those things helped you figure out what you do and you don't want. Focus on your goals, focus on your dreams. It will happen. The sixth rule for success is be a fighter. Kind of ties right back in with focusing on your passion. Be a fighter means, listen, when people tell you, oh, you will never lose 20 pounds or you will never be an actress. Listen, you know what to tell them? Besides two little words that are not nice, ignore them. Don't listen to those people. Only thing, only one that matters is you and what you want from this life. You've been put here for a reason, figure it out. Fight for it. Defend your gold. Do not let anyone tell you you cannot do anything you want to do. Yeah? Focus. Fight passion all tied in guys they're all a mesh a merge of energy and positivity that is meant for you to discover why you're on this earth and how you can help others number seven is take control of your life things can get really it can get really difficult to focus on your dreams and go after the things that are important to you when You've got influences of family, friends, work, your home environment, but it's like you kind of got to have tunnel vision and the wind is blowing and the rain is falling and it's thunder and all that can happen around you, but you are so focused on getting that goal. You are so focused on being the fighter. You're so focused on seeing to the end. Yeah, that all that stuff all the elements around you they may add a bit of a difference but don't let them deter you from that final goal you have to be strong like a metal even metals bend bend under heat and pressure but the core of them will always be let the core of you and the core of your goals always be no matter what's happening around you this then also ties back then into being a fighter because you know things will happen and you'll feel offset and you'll be like I'm not bothered with this anymore and I'm telling you I am a living example of my environment getting the best of me but listen I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with my new goals I, I'm not even gonna speak about them right now they're just gonna unfold in 2018 you're gonna be like wow she did it like I can do it too like we all can do it. We all have a purpose. I just kept keep saying, "All oh, have a purpose on this earth. We gotta live it. We gotta figure it out, guys. Come on. You gotta take control of your life. Don't let the elements around you control your life. Number eight is surround yourself with good energy. I love that. I love the concept of good energy. I love. I've always knew I was kind of inclined to people and kind of having a gist for positive and negative people in my life even from a child I didn't know what it was but now as I get older and I read um, books and I focus on um, you know positivity and the energy around us negative and positive you gotta have positive people around you if you want to lose 20 pounds and you hang it with people that eat KFC every week and fast food how is that gonna help you they're gonna you're gonna fall right back in that comfort seat and you ain't gonna lose no weight. Listen, you gotta find you some friends from the gym who are hardcore. You're still gonna feel you're gonna feel a little offset because everyone around you is buff, but it's going to push you to see them doing positive things and having good energy. You then are gonna do the same. You then are gonna push because birds of a feather flock together. Stick to people who have similar or higher goals than you. People with no goals, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be a crab in a barrel and we all going to drum together. I'm going to climb out and leave your ass in there because I need to succeed. Okay? I'm sorry. I'll come back and pull you out maybe. But right now, mm -mm, my goals are important. So stick with positive people. Positive energy. Positivity. Good energy. Number nine, embrace the challenges. Whew, I have got some challenges ahead of me. And maybe in a couple of days or a couple of weeks or so I'll kind of fill you get you guys in on what my plans are for 2018 they're really big and 
you know, those challenges tie right back into fear. You're so afraid that you'll fail. You're so afraid you'll make a mistake. You're so afraid that you'll look back and say, what the hell did I do? But you got to face those challenges. You got to meet those challenges with a positive mind, with like a hunger. I want to like, you got to love a challenge. You got to push and want to do more and be better and do better so challenges are good that's just just like i said the bad in your life see that see all the bad in your life as a challenge this is nothing tell yourself that this is nothing this is just a challenge this is just a stepping stone it's not a hurdle it's not a boulder it's, it's not a wall in front of me and even if it's a wall in front of you start to climb be the best mountain wall climber ever because you're gonna face every challenge and knock it down final tip of course my favorite chase your dreams chase your goals face your fears get those challenges out of the way be the best you can be live your life to the fullest if you think that you can be an international race car driver go for it you know you can do it you know you can do it yeah if you believe that you will be the next Imani in the next top model if you believe you'll be the next Steven Spielberg Go after it chase your dreams Live your life be happy guys like you have to you have to you have to it has to be your all It has to be your obsession because only the best Make it because they're obsessed and they work on it every single day work on your goals face your fears every single day every day do something that's a little bit uncomfortable to get you closer to your goals now i'm not going to tell you going to rob a bank or going to kill someone if that's going to get you closer to your dreams i don't i'm mm -mm. i'm not sure no i'm not i'm not sure i'm quite certain that that's not going to end well so obvious things losing weight getting a better job um moving to a better location having a, a better life you know maybe getting married having kids whatever the fear is face your fears dream big shoot for the galaxy and fall on the stars yeah because we can do it so i'm gonna end this video by wishing you guys um amazing positive life-changing 2018 even numbers baby i got i love me some even numbers this 2018 is an even number life is going to be amazing so thank you for watching if you love this video and you'd like to see more like it i'd be happy to know i want to hear what your resolutions your rules your tips for 2018 and get into the next level in your life leave me a comment i am very happy and excited to comment and looking forward to meeting 100 subscribers happy new year everyone kisses Mwah.